folks, it's Darren Chang again, and I'm here to do another first look. And this is for the Green Room 136 Rainmaker version two. Now, many of you know that it wasn't that long ago that I got the version one, which you can see right over here. And I reviewed that. And I'll be sure to make sure that I put up the card for you to link to that review in, where is it? Probably up in that direction over there. Um, and I love the bag, except it did have a couple of things about it that I didn't love. And what's amazing is I, um, I think Patrick goes and looks at these reviews online. Patrick is the guy who owns and, and uh, designs the 136 packs here, the Green Room 136 packs. And um, he basically, it, he took a lot of my suggestions into account with this version too. Now, it probably wasn't just me. I'm sure there were other folks that he listened to when it came to design or redesign um, for his version 2.0. But it's clear that uh, many of the issues that I had with it were addressed in this pack. Um, I will tell you up front that these bags can be custom designed and really you wanna take advantage of the customizing that Patrick has to offer because you can get the bag built up exactly the way you want it. Not only in terms of the colors, but also the arrangement of the pockets, zippers, etc. cetera. So um, I would strongly urge you to do that, but do know that if you do have it done custom, it's gonna take a lot longer. Let me show you around the pack. And again, this is just a first look. I haven't really had a chance to use it. I, I use it for one day, uh, but that's not enough time for me to really make a judgment as to whether or not this is the pack. You can see here that um, the, the great thing about the Green Room 136 is that they don't skimp when it comes to materials. The Cordura they use here is 1000 Denier Cordura, so it's the toughest material you can find. And um, he uses really nice YKK zippers. These, these look like they're number 10 YKK zippers. They're such beefy things. Um, and they're also waterproof zippers at that. Um, and then he uses these quick release buckles. I'm not even sure what brand they are. Are they the... My vision is so bad that I can't tell. Oh my goodness, that's interesting. They're YKK also. I didn't even know YKK made these quick release plastic buckles here. Um, so you can pretty much count on the fact that it's going to be made out of the best materials and they're handmade. So the workmanship on these things is impeccable. Um, so count on that. Um, in the front here, you can see that I have a, a front pocket here. And inside this front pocket, it's a big gaping area that has its own volume. And there are three pockets. There's, it sort of could fit a pretty slim wallet and certainly an iPhone. Um, there's another one which is a little bit narrower. And then there is a single slot for say a pen or pencil. And otherwise, oh, and then we have the, uh, a little loop here for a, um, for your keys if you choose to use those. Um, but again, it's really just a big open pocket here. Zip that big old beefy zipper up. And then in this area, we have an area for, it's a little pocket for sunglasses. And so it's even lined on one side. It's not lined on both sides, but one side it's lined with a nice gray corduroy. So it'll protect and won't scratch your device or your glasses. And then you can see here on the side, I have this designed in with a water bottle pocket on this side and also a water bottle pocket on this side. The ones that, are, that do not come custom made do not have the water bottle pockets. I think water bottle pockets are essential. So um, that's one of the reasons why it was important for me to go with a custom version of this rather than the ones that you can just buy straight online. Um, and then you can see here there are two different, two separate compression straps on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and just disconnect those things for now. Um, and by the way, it, you can customize so that you have one side with a water bottle pocket and the other side does not. So you don't have to have dual water bottle pockets if you're not somebody who thinks they need to have both of them. And then into the main compartment here. And you can see here, well, this isn't, this doesn't come with theirs. This is my, this, it's an insert, a camera insert. That's what it's called. Okay. Um, and then in here, you can see there's a large mesh pocket that spans the width and half the length or the, the height of the bag as well, zippered. 
And then below that, it's a little harder to see. You can see another one, a twin pocket, just like that, just below it, really handy. There is another slot here. You can put file folders in here, a notebook. There is some Molly here in case you want to attach a bag. Although if you do attach some little bag here, you wouldn't be able to use this slot for your, your file folders. Again, a huge, awesome waterproof zipper that Patrick has designed into that bag. At the top here, there's a nice grab handle. This is actually something you pay for in addition. I wanted to have some nice offset color here. Um, you don't need it, but I think it's kind of cool and it does make it a little bit easier to grip, more comfortable to grip. You can also get these with um, side handles and also one on the bottom if you so choose. And then let's move into the technical or laptop compartment area and let me just center this thing here. You can see here we've got quite a bit going here. There is a slot here in case you want to put your file folders into this section. Um, we have an area, again, these same kind of pockets where you could put your cell phone, a couple of pockets for your stylus or your pens slash pencils. Um, I actually end up putting my iPad Pro into this section so that I can put my 13 inch MacBook into this padded section. There is no padding associated with this one. There is padding associated with this laptop specific pocket here. And very importantly, you can see that there's this corduroy lining that is, um, will protect your, um, your screen, et cetera. Well, not your screen, but will protect your, your laptop from getting scratched as well. And it does open in this clam shell style, which, um, nobody claims this anymore, but it used to be that this was called TSA friendly that the TSA folks would allow you to go through without having to take out your laptop um, as long as you could lay it flat. That's just no longer the case. They basically say, hey, open up your, take out your laptop. And if you complain about it, they'll say, take out your laptop. So don't bother pretending that this is TSA friendly anymore. But it is nicely accessible to be able to open it up like this if you so desire. The fact that there is a double zipper means that you don't have to open that thing up entirely in order to get access to any of the stuff that's in that compartment. You can just open up the top and then access it like so, which I think is really quite handy. All right, so let's take a look at the suspension system here. You can see that we have load lifters. We have a, an adjustable. It's uh, not super adjustable in terms of the sternum strap. There are three different places where you can put it. It should work for you. You'll be able to find one of those slots that'll work for you unless you have some strange body shape. And then we have the uh, little loops here to clip your keys to. Um, these are also adjustable shoulder straps. The shoulder straps themselves have a mesh that allows them, oh, sorry, that sound is my daughter running up the stairs. Um, the mesh here on the back allows for you to have perspiration not build up. It goes through and out fairly easily. It doesn't have a chimney. I would love to have this be completely open here and allow you to have the chimney effect to allow perspiration to get up and out. Um, but you know, I've never, I've used the version one of this and it never, even in the middle of the summer, I never had issues with getting a sweaty back uh, when wearing these, unless I was running across campus. There's a little tab here, which I think is incredibly handy. I hope Patrick never gets rid of this. It allows you to hang it on a hook when you get to work so you don't have to, um, lay your backpack down or put it on the ground or whatever. So I think that is tremendously handy. There is a secret pocket here that is just behind your back. And in this, you can put passport, your tickets, anything you want to make sure is a little bit more secure and won't get stolen if you're traveling through airports and, you know, people have hands that might go in there and try to take your stuff. The bottom of the pack is made up of the same 1000 denier Cordura. Um, it's not coated or anything. It is water resistant, um, but I wouldn't count on this in any way. If you put this down in a puddle, you're probably asking for trouble, but it is tough as nails. So you can put this down on the ground and you can throw this thing around. It's not going to change because it's made out of such tough material. Cordura is incredibly resistant to abrasion, so it looks new for a long period of time. So there it is. Again, this is the first look of the Green Room 136 version two of the Rainmaker. Oh, uh, I should mention that this is the medium size. My other one is the large size. It's not a huge difference in size, but I wanted to see what the medium size 
looked like compared to the large. I actually felt that the large would be a good um, one bag travel option because it's so big. Uh, in fact, let me go grab it. Just so you can get a sense of these side by side. My daughter's coming back down the stairs as you can probably hear. Um, and this one, this green, black, and blue one is filled with stuffing to give it more girthiness, but it's just because it's filled out. This one's not filled out. But here you can see there's a slight difference in size. In terms of the width, oh yeah, there's even a little bit of a difference in width here. I don't know if you can see this from my images above. Eh, it's pretty hard to get a sense. But yeah, the large is definitely larger than this medium, um, noticeably so. Uh, actually, bringing this out, it made me realize that one of the major changes that Patrick made to this pack, which I think was incredibly essential and makes a huge difference in terms of the usability of this backpack, which is that he got rid of the zipper covers. Uh, some people call them the rain flaps and instead decided to put in the, uh, the water resistant um, zippers makes it a lot easier to access, right? You can unzip and zip without having to deal with those rain flaps. And it was particularly difficult to try to open up the main compartment with the rain flap, as I will demonstrate here. All right, so notice here that there's a zipper cover. And in order to get access to it, you have to sort of deal with, you, you really do need to open, move away in order to go around the corner and get access to what's ever here. So if you don't move that rain flap out of the way, it makes it near impossible to unzip it. So you can just notice in this one, first of all, the zippers are significantly beefier here, um, but you have none of that issue. It's a piece of cake to open and close, despite the fact this is a larger zipper. All right, folks, so there you have it. Um, I will use this for a few, maybe a month or so, and then I'll come back and do a full review of this bag. Um, keep an eye out for not only the review of this new version two of the Rainmaker, but uh, I also received from Patrick a briefcase, and I forget what that thing is called. I'll put it down here. Um, anyway, it looks really promising, that briefcase. It's bigger than the Metromonger, and therefore I think it will be much easier for me to use for my business pack. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.